everybody welcome to just german things my name is nandini and i am living in germany and if you already know me from instagram you know that i make videos on life in germany travel in europe german language and also education and career in germany so uh, today i am i am actually you can see behind me i am standing in front of ikea i'm going to go uh, and show you the ikea in germany what all products are available here it's going to be a very interesting video because it's not going to be a usual video but i'm going to show you what all you can buy here but also if you are a german learner then this is a chance for you to learn a lot of german language words and also sentences based in the situation so this is a new series which i started it's a second part where we are not only learning about the lifestyle in germany but also german language based on the situations so let's go inside and see what all we have come with me so guys before i go inside let me show you this card this is the ikea card so uh, in in germany it is very common that you get vouchers as gift so this is something which i got as a wedding gift from the colleague and we wanted to use it since long but we never actually got a chance to use it so it has some money and we'll check how much money do we have and then we can plan what all we want to buy and uh, in like a, a gift card like this is called gut shine in german so let's go so we are at the eingang right now which means entrance and now we're going to go inside and see how much money do we have in this gift card in this uh, geschenk card okay the okay so we have 95 alles gut danke, danke. let's go now and check the ikea plan uh, as you already know the ikea stores are normally very huge you can see there are three departments the first one is mobile ausstellung so where the furnitures exhibition is there the second one is markthalle so where you get different items for your home and the third one is schweden bistro which is a restaurant and then kunden service which is customer service and other things and the ausgang which is exit at the end so normally it takes hours to cover the store So if you're planning a trip to IKEA make sure you have at least 4 to 5 hours to spend here. So now I'm going to start and we are going to go to the first room which is Wohnzimmer. So normally people come to IKEA for to get an idea when they are building a new house because here you have a lot of ideas to arrange to set up a new Wohnung apartment which is called the Wohnung Einrichten to set up a new apartment. And that's the reason IKEA is also called Das Einrichtungshaus. So now we are in Wohnzimmer and let's see what all do we see in Wohnzimmer. So das ist eine Hängerleuchte, a hanging lamp. Das ist ein Tisch, a table. Dann das ist ein Sessel. So a Sessel is armchair, it's not a sofa, so das ist ein Sessel. So here we see a lot of pictures on the wall and uh, we can see viele Bilder hängen an der Wand. So das sind Bilder. Ein Bücherregal. Hier gibt es auch ein Bücherregal. So a bookshelf. And if you want to check the price, how do we say the price in German? For example here, das kostet 39,99. So now something very important in any living room would be a sofa. And in German it becomes Sofa. So that's how pronunciation changes. Sofa becomes Z Sofa. And there's a Teppich. So Teppich is a carpet. So es gibt einen Teppich. There's a carpet here. So let's go to the other section. Kuchen. Make sure you pronounce it right. It's Kuchen. So here is an example. Here is a setup. Let's go to the bigger one here. So before I go to the other kitchen let me tell you something very interesting about kitchens in Germany there are times when you move to an unfurnished apartment but you see that unfurnished means that there is no cute kitchen as well so uh, which means one has to buy the kitchen also when one is moving and then there are times when the kitchen is inbuilt so that inbuilt kitchen in Germany is called the Einbauküche which is also in short form EBK So when we came to Germany and we moved to an unfurnished apartment we were lucky to get Einbau Küche so we didn't have to buy the kitchen but normally that's the case that you have to buy it Now let's see this bigger kitchen and see what all do we have here so by spiel das ist ein Kühlschrank it's a refrigerator and let me show you other interesting things in a German kitchen so come with me So here you see 
something which is not common in india it's to have washing machine in the kitchen area so yes that's common in germany to have washing machine in the kitchen area the wash machine in the kitchen so now let's check other things in the kitchen this is a refrigerator we already saw that which is a kühl schrank so here kept as ein and kühl schrank oder das ist ein kühl schrank so you can use either way something very important in the german kitchen is also a dishwasher because you don't have any help so of course that's a great relief a dishwasher in german is called der geschirrspüle oder die spülmaschine so das ist ein geschirrspüle und das kostet 699 so 699 now the other thing in kitchen das ist ein ofen so ofen ist an oven and if you have a microwave also then microwave in german is called die mikrowelle so ofen die mikrowelle which are two different things also it's very common in germany to have a dining area near your kitchen and the dining room in german is called das esszimmer and the dining table is called der esstisch so another important thing in a kitchen is of course a cooking stove so which is called kochfeld or you can also say herd and then there are so many different types for example there is a gas one so gas kochfeld and then there is also induction based so in germany most of the times it's induction based now we see there are so many different types of taps here and of course we have a sink in the kitchen and a tap so a tap in german is called der wasserhahn let's go to the next section now which is das schlafzimmer so a bedroom so sleeping in german is called schlafen and a bedroom in german is called das schlafzimmer so first of all talking about schlafzimmer the first thing that we have in a bedroom is a bed so das ist ein bett so das bett so the next thing i'm sure you already must have noticed something unusual about these pillows and that's the size but yes that's a normal size in germany that's the german pillows and a pillow in german is called das kissen so here you see that's a pillow so other important things in a german bedroom is der kleiderschrank so der kleiderschrank is your wardrobe where you have your clothes so as you see there are also items inside this kleiderschrank and it is to give you an idea how to arrange your kleiderschrank So if you are a complete beginner who is watching this video and have just started learning German or want to learn German then you should know that this topic is very important at A1 level German because you are expected to know all these words in an apartment how to say them in German and then also make very small sentences based on situation like was kostet dieser Kleiderschrank so one can answer like dieser Kleiderschrank kostet 349 euro talking about it one also needs to know few adjectives common adjectives like in this case you see there are a lot of different sections so i would describe this cupboard as really practical and i can say yeah these are clyder shank is they are practice and there are other words like elegant also it's very important that you are aware of the basic pronunciation rules while learning german for example i'm not pronouncing this as schlaf zimmer i'm saying schlaf zimmer so z is pronounced as z in german and uh, now so this is here for example a kids room and a kids room in german is called kinderzimmer so again it's not zimmer you have to watch out for these type of pronunciation rules so now let's go ahead and see what do we have next so now we are in the bathroom das badezimmer and here first of all we have this wash basin which is called das waschbecken then we also have here ein handtuch das handtuch a hand towel and then let's see what else do we have in badezimmer so in this badezimmer we're going to see what all do we have and i hope you're enjoying learning german german vocabulary small sentences in german this way if yes you can say hi to me right now <laughs> okay so a mirror is very important in a bathroom and a mirror in german is called der spiegel so it's not called spiegel it's it's called der spiegel because of the german pronunciation if you want to learn the german pronunciation you should watch my other video now what do we have that is here eine badematte so it's a mat for the bathroom eine badematte and then we have die dusche that's a shower so that is here eine dusche 
and then the next thing that we have is the badavana so the badavana means actually bathtub so here gift is auk aina badavana so there is a bathtub as well here so do you also know that in germany it's very common to have a shower inside the bathtub something which i have in my apartment as well but i don't like it much but yes that depends on the apartment because there are also german apartments where you have separate space for the shower but most of the apartments do have shower inside the bathtub so guys for all the rooms like das badzimmer das schlafzimmer das wohnzimmer article remains das because simmer the article is das that's why but kusche the kitchen is the only place where the article is d kusche because in german most of the nouns ending with e have article d so that was part 1 of the video where we covered all these uh, rooms in an apartment and what all do we see in the rooms the next part is going to be where i'll be buying new things like small household items for these rooms and that's going to be part 2 if you like this concept please like subscribe and share and it's very important for me to know if this video was helpful for you so please show your support and the more support i get i promise the sooner the next video would be out the part 2 so that was all for today feel dank auf wiedersehen tschüss und namaste